Welcome, my friends, to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and today we're going to explore what we have potentially for a Joe Biden, President Joe Biden campaign, but paranormal activity? During the last three months of 1935, all across the globe, including our own nation, there have been reporting sites of UFO, strange pyramid-shaped structures appearing then, then vanishing. Most frighteningly, there have been reported sightings of actual aliens in what appear to be hazmat suits taking nose before vanishing into thin air. Reportedly, these same aliens have been killing entire settlements on the various frontiers of Earth, such as Alaska or Siberia. What's more, various French groups, such as a spiritual party of California or Germany's Ahenneba Society claim these sightings are proof of the beliefs are, and are calling on the government of the world to investigate these sightings for the protection of public safety. While these radicals hold no power, and the calls for investigations have mostly fallen on deaf ears, some members of our government have also had a paranoia dispensation that has secretly come forward to Herbert Hoover and requested we launch an investigation at once. While President Hoover has passed these men off as crazies as time passes, the arguments used by these men keep circling in their mind. Hoping to put both these men in their own mind at ease, Herbert Hoover resolves that simply rumors... Perhaps they make a point, begin an investigation immediately. Now, to do this, to get President Joe Biden for the April Fool's event in Kaiser Redux, which is a model using, as well as State Central Tool Mod, as well as parallel peace conferences, you must have Kaiser Redux, and let's we'll see what happens. Voting rights, that's pretty normal. You don't need to read about that. If you'd like to read about that, you can go back and see that. An invasion from the future. Oh! Hellfire from the future, seemingly out of nowhere. Great armies began invading the American interior, slaughtering without regard only hours ago. Their leader, a man known as Joe Biden, revealed himself and his intentions. He claims to be from the future with the sole goal of purifying the earth. Biden's armies, while strong, have yet to fully conquer the U.S., which Biden claims to be the rightful president of. With reports of successful nuclear strikes, humanity may finally witness the apocalypse. The world shall burn. A quote of the day. In setting an American agenda for a new world order, we must begin with a profound alteration in traditional thought. The world shall burn, but the invasion from the future. Over the past several hours, all throughout the continental U.S., short and bloody battles have taken place. The invaders, seemingly using weapons and vehicles from the future, suddenly came in without explanation. Arriving in massive pyramid-like structures that appeared out of thin air, the invaders kill and killed out without regard for race, age, or gender without reason. That was until a short time ago. Following a massive power spike, the transmission that could be heard on every radio on Earth played, People of Earth, People of America, you don't know who I am, but I know who you are. I know all about you. You are the citizens of the Kaiserreich, that you are the people of America. You are the rich, sitting in your Canadian mansions. You are the poor, governing yourselves in the commune of France. Who am I? I am Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., President of the United States and Chairman of the American Preservation and Colonization Committee. We come from the future and we are here to reclaim what is rightfully ours. The year is 2023 and has made the earth nearly uninhabitable following a large-scale nuclear exchange in the Middle East. Hoping to persevere or preserve our people, I instructed my government to find us a new home and your world at this time has been chosen to be our new home. This or die in peace, knowing your death will be providing a home for all Americans, and that's no malarkey. Long live Chairman Biden. Ah, uh, yeah. So, within this video, if you, s I want you guys to see if you can find out the timestamps where you might see a little Joe Biden appear on screen, maybe throughout this entire thing. And I love this flag. Look at ah, Joe Biden, ah, my favorite totalist. Look at man from the future. If you like to read about him, did you know he was born in 1942? Ah. <sighs> He's got that speed, he's quick-witted, and all that research speed. Beautiful, 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 with a president from the future. We create a Bidenist unit in Rhode Island. 500 political power, 50% more stability, 600, or 6,185 nukes, and Joe Biden has come from the future to save the world. Joe Biden has come to save, come from the future to save America and the world. With his legion of time-traveling supporters, he will ensure that this world will not share the same fate as the thousands of other timelines destroyed by the enemies of Chairman Biden. Oh, we start with the Johnson Atoll building infrastructure. That is very quite peculiar, Joe Biden. Why would you build there? Not even in Delmarva. If we're going to build things, we'll build it up all around here. Good enough for now. What divisions do we start with? Some extremely... 69 Joe Biden legions. And they're 27 combat width. That is... That is a combat width. Yeah, definitely combat width. Oh, we got the Biden Marines. Oh, we love them. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we all start in Delmarva. Dova. We love Dova. Oh, my gosh. I've not done any of this off screen. I don't know what's going to happen. So, combined arms. He is experienced. He's a war hero. He's a future leader. <laughs> He's a future leader. But we got Donald Trump. We got Barack Obama. George Bush. Clinton. George H.W. Bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love the devs of Kaiser Redux. Eh, we got to get Donald Trump here. Just, just screaming. 
Barack Obama. We gotta get Barack Obama. And as much as we love Bill Clinton and George H. W. Bush, I mean, if we don't have George Bush committing war crimes, are we really playing? All right, my friends. It sucks that we don't have anyone over here, but with the 900% division speed, I think we'll do relatively okay. We only have five factories. We all we have are guns, but that's all we. That's all Joe Biden needs. All he needs is some sort of gun, and he'll do great things. We'll just leave it that comment there. I'm not even sure what we're making. I don't even know where we're at. Sure, we can make that. Why not? You know what? Let's have a Valkyrie class. No, we like classes like this. Cool. We're going to need a lot more factories where we're headed. Make sure we have no navy. That would, totally fine. We don't need a navy. We're headed. Go right on ahead, maybe, hopefully. Actually, no. we got to do this first. Reinforcements go to middle. That's fine. Infantry divisions. Joe Biden's legions. legions? Yes. Ugh. Papa Biden. Are you guys... Oh, my God. Whoever controls Washington controls America. Look how fast they go. Oh, it's like a cancer. Oh, my God, Joe Biden. <laughs> Your divisions are like cancer. Holy bad words. Jesus Christ, the fall of Boston. MacArthur's lax stand. As the forces of Chairman Joe march ever forward towards the reclamation of Earth for the true humanity. The time for reclaiming the seat of Biden's power has come at last. While D.C. may be the capital of the U.S. and lacks a significant military presence, and with the chairman's sudden appearance, that presence is even smaller. Despite that, it does not stop the forces loyal to the false U.S. to dig in and fight like heck. Most notable in the siege of D.C. was the last stand of General Douglas MacArthur. He... Always the brave soul, unlike the vast majority of the U.S. High Command, did not retreat and instead stuck with his men until the very end. As his men fell one by one, MacArthur would lead one less charge in the hope of giving those who were evacuating time to escape. As his men arrived at the Bidenist lines, much to the shock, they were able to bring down several soldiers. With little time to spare, MacArthur ordered his men to equip the APCC's equipment. While he was still figuring out how to get into an APCC model, A67V32 armored infantry suit with... Within the AIS, MacArthur was able to bring down many a brave soldier until a squad was able to deploy an EMP and fire MacArthur inside the AIS, bringing him down. With a bloody battle, the Battle of DC was an overwhelming victory, and the insights gained from the battle will be most useful to the APCC's battles AI. The heart of America is once more mine. <laughs> oh, what are these? Cool. Pretty cool. Uh, none of these really matter too much, so. There you go. Goodbye. Uh, nope. And a smaller number. There you go. There you go. Take some of that. Doesn't really matter. And we want to make more. There you go. More carriers. Oh, this is a converted carrier. Wait, hold on. Did I choose the wrong one? Yep. No, that's the only one we got. All right, whatever. We're going to get more of this stuff here, too. Anyway, so that's fine. Washington Falls. As Chairman Biden stood on a hillside overlooking the smoldering capital, he was interrupted by an aide who asked him if he needed any cool refreshments in the warm Maryland weather. Before we could finish this question, however, Biden turned to him and began to speak. My enemies are many, my equals are none. In the shade of industrial smog, they said Delaware could never be conquered. In the land of presidents and tyrants, they said Washington could never be humbled. In the realm of deserts and canyons, they said the West could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. I say I am Biden. I am supreme. After Biden finished, the aide took this statement as a yes before leaving to retrieve a scoop of ice cream from the chairman's personal reserves. Chairman Biden stayed on the hill, however, watching the soldiers storm the last vestiges of tyrannical control, watching them collapse as soldiers stormed the White House. Washington was in his hands. The feeble government of this version of America was to be wiped out. Resistance from the unclean, impure creatures from this world is nothing but futile. 455 miles to Ottawa. The fall of Detroit. Du Hoover's last speech. Following the fall of D.C. and MacArthur's last stand, Herbert Hoover, 30th President of the U.S., has been captured by Biden and his forces, viewing him as perhaps a trophy. Chairman Biden did not order his death, allowing him to preside over the funeral of MacArthur and perhaps out of some kind of pity for the most hated man in America. Following a short service, Hoover would stand and give a the following speech. Friends, Washingtonians, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury MacArthur, not to praise him. That evil man... Uh, or men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones, so let it be with MacArthur. The noble Biden hath told you MacArthur was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. And curiously hath MacArthur answered it. Here, under leave of Biden and the rest, for Biden is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men. Come to I, come I to speak in MacArthur's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Biden says he was ambitious, and Biden is an honorable man. He hath brought many nations to their knees. Whose reparations did the general officer general coffers fill? Did this in MacArthur seem ambitious? When did that poor have cried? MacArthur hath wept. 
Ambition should be made of sterner stuff, yet Biden says he was ambitious, and Biden is an honorable man. You, you all did see all that on the Capitol building. I thrust presented him a position on the cabinet, which he did thrust refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Biden says he was ambitious, and sure, he's an honorable man. I do not disapprove of what Biden spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me, my heart is in the coffin there with McGough, and I must pause till it come back to me. Following the speech, Hoover produced a knife and proceeded to snap, stab, stab, and kill whom he thought was Chairman Biden, but it was in fact a Roman Biden from another universe. Following this, Hoover was gunned down on the spot. <laughs> While Hoover's death may be unfortunate, it also serves as a powerful reminder that only true Americans are fit to leave on, live on Earth, and all others must be purged for the good of mankind. Only Biden has right to rule in new America. I wonder if he wrote that speech himself. Holy crap! Oh my goodness, I didn't even see the research. Um... Grand Battle Plan, I think we're going to go with that one. And, wow. Yeah, we'll go with tanks. Holy crap. Joe Biden, you're so strong. You're so smart. Sure, we'll go with that. How many research slots do we have? Ten? I'm not going to count. That's a lot. Joe Biden. Oh, my God. The Toilet Charger? Oh, yeah. What do we actually have over here? Hired foreign designers. War propaganda. Sun Super Vets. Nope. Cool. We'll do that one. And then we'll get some anti-tank. And then we're going to grab some synthetic oil experiments. And then we'll grab some fuel refining. Oh my gosh. I'm going to really hate this eventually. Oh, the Treaty of Denver. Oh, Dover. The Treaty of Dover, my friends. Oh. And America has collapsed as Joe Biden has taken over. Oh. How much score do we not have? That would be enough. Cool. Uh, going to just grab that. It doesn't, I, I don't really care. I'm going to do that too. We have more than enough slots for this. So, the Treaty of Dover. As Chairman Biden, the APCC beside him to work to prepare the Earth for her rifle masters, we've begun to use our multiverse traveling technologies to recruit Joe Bidens from the other universes and timelines. As the Chairman so rightfully put it, all Bidens, regardless of universe, can seem to have the same driving force to create a better home for their children. With this driving force, we've been able to crunch the, crush the enemies of true humanity faster than ever, proving that the Chairman Joe from any timeline is the only hope for our salvation. However, with a successful comes problems, as it always does. While indeed every Biden shares that same drive, they share it for a different group of their children. Be it the Catholic faithful around the world or the citizens of an ancient Egyptian colonized America, the Bidens fight for their own, not solely for the future of the true America to solve this. Chairman Biden, now also going by Supreme or Alpha Biden, called the meetings of all the various Bidens who have agreed to work with the APCC. In the meeting, the chairman proposed that each of the Bidens and their respective followers and nations could get a slice of the new earth once terraforming is completed. Further, he proposed the creation of a Biden council to act as both an advisory board to the APCC as well as the future head of government in order to avoid future conflicts and warfare. While a bit shocking to some, all Bidens agreed at once and further negotiations for which Biden will get what section of the earth has been set to take place within the next few months. With this deal complete, Chairman Biden has shown once more the brilliance of his mind, further pro proving his claim to be the sole savior of America. A toast to our fellow Bidenists. Amen. And let's get ready for the pesky little Canadians as we make a lot more guns. Guns, 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 yes. Support equipment, motorized, and a lot of arty. Wow, we need 9600, huh? 35 day focus. The fall of America. Oh. Following a weeks-long campaign, the U.S. has finally completely fallen under the control of the forces of Chairman Biden. Claiming to be from the future, Biden's forces show no mercy regardless of age, sex, or gender. Although far and few between, the U.S. is reportedly now little more than a statelet, and millions of souls lay in mass graves. Already millions of refugees have fled American shores in hopes of avoiding the chairman's wrath, however. Were the ports of Biden and his troops arriving at the Canadian and Mexican borders, it seems unlikely that Biden has... Uh, simply, time to stop, stop simply with America. The world will be cleansed. My apologies, everyone, for that, but the game was lagging so hard it almost crashed my computer, but we do have the fall of America. It seems unlikely that Biden plans to stop with simply America. The world will be cleansed because it lags so hard because the game made literally every single nation in the mod, in the game, join a faction, the same faction, the anti-Biden pact for the salvation of humanity. Do they not like Joe Biden? They're all corn pops, aren't they? They are. 
the promotion of the ABPSH. Today, Berlin, the representatives from nearly all nations not yet under the thumb of Chairman Biden announced a joint treaty of cooperation and unity in these times of great crisis. Known as the Anti-Biden Pact for the Salvation of Humanity, or simply a the pact has united nearly every single faction on the planet into a single fold from the Entente to the Federal International. Every nation pledging loyalty to one of the global factions have come together in hopes of stemming the Bidenist tide. If the ABPSH is able to be anything more than a roadblock for Biden remains to be seen. Regardless, the prayers of the world go out to the ABPSH, for if they fall, so too does the Earth. The abs shall do nothing but slow us down. We soon create more Bidenist units, and we get a few thousand nuclear bombs, but a fool's gambit. With our glorious forces advance, leaving nothing but death and destruction in the way Kaiser Wilhelm II has called a meeting in Berlin of every nation not yet under the control. Almost every nation uh, are not under control or line of sight went to Berlin to discuss what they could do to stem the Bidenist tide. Oh no. As the various delegates first met, the conference was in total anarchy. Delegates accusing others of treachery, ideological fistfights, and much other activities threatened to end the meeting before it even began. To hopefully bring some order, Kaiser Wilhelm himself began a speech which eventually able to calm the delegates. He spoke of the need for unity that petty ideological differences that would be a literal death of humanity. He told of the reports of Biden's wrath or how, how he killed his own family. Even before he finished speaking, delegates from the Communist France, Japan, the Austrian Empire, and Russia stood up and proposed the uniting of every nation presented into a single faction to hopefully stop Biden and save Earth all once. Almost every delegate agreed, and the Kaiser personally proclaimed the creation of the anti-Biden pact for the salvation of humanity, or the ABJ. The faction. Our most trusted advisors say, we'll do little to halt us. After all, we still possess technology far superior to their own. Some go as far to say that this will make the process of phase one all the quicker. After all, if their armies fight us sooner, that's less men to fight later. They think that it'll save them? Talk about malarkey. Look at the council. Biden, 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 and then Biden. The APCC Council Bidens. And we Biden portrait and the Biden figure. <sighs> Never enough Bidens. All right, my friends, we have 3.8 million manpower, and I've gone, gone ahead and organized the divisions in a much more organized way. I've actually deleted some of the divisions just to make sure we had, well, maybe hopefully more of a surplus, but, uh, Poland declares Republic, but we also have Kamala Harris as our head of government. She's a totalist. She's a terror in the night. <laughs> we have, uh, Mohamed Kalakin. Wow, that is a beautiful picture. He's an iron-fisted brute, a national populist. We have Hunter Biden, a national populist, a corrupt kleptocrat. Ah, smoke up, boy. And we have Hillary Clinton, of course, a secret police chief. We have our uh, chief of staff, Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. And we have the chief of army, Donald uh, Static Defense Doctrine Trump here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, hopefully he doesn't like the game too hard, but, oh, you can already feel it's choking a little bit. Look at all the divisions. How can we have enough supply for all of this? I don't think we have any, gets any bonuses to construction speed. No, we do not. Which is totally fine with me, but oh my goodness. This is going to be kind of difficult. Oh, let's see. Chief of the Air Force. Oh my gosh. All this technology, man. At this point, like, I'm just going to click on things. Why do we get... Go ahead for night vision. And, uh, Velk Creek Naval Gunnery sounds very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, um. Oh my god, we got a lot of guns now. After literally quite a few divisions. Wow! Oh, there goes China. China's exploded. But I did want to show you. Cleanse the impure. We have more than 20 nukes. It takes five political power. The great cleansing. Joe Biden will lead us to glory. And nuclear hellfire, probably. Uh, before we do that, get some anti-air. Wow. So we have over... Probably a thousand nukes. What does this do? Oh. Marshal Wu Pai Fu. Um, I'm not seeing too much happening here. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, just China. China's falling apart. But that's okay. This is all part of the Biden agenda. Destroying China. Calling the alternates. It has been established that this world is impure, unclean, tainted by inferior creatures. It must be cleansed so the generation of pure Americans can inhabit it. The population of this world must be cleansed, however. This has proven somewhat difficult due to the similarities of this world to our own. This timeline has several similarities with our own, and some of the alternate descendants of high-ranking figures still exist in this timeline. Notably, it has been identified that Joe Biden's doppelganger family exists in this timeline, while this timeline Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. has not yet been born. His alternate universe parents still exist. President Biden can take no chances. Letting an alternate version of Biden Alpha fall into the wrong hands could prove disastrous. Thus, this alternate Biden must be eliminated to secure this timeline and the APCC. 
At dawn, Biden and his forces have rounded up Joseph Robinette Biden Sr. and Catherine E. F. Biden and promptly executed them. Wow. This action has prevented this timeline's Joe Biden from ever existing, preventing an impure Biden from coming into existence. While Biden seemed to be conflicted on executing his own parents, he understands that it is for his greater good of humanity. The thread is severed. Joe Biden would kill his own family. Can I say that? Oh well. I want to cleanse the impure. What does this do? I want to know. And we can expand the arsenals if we have fewer than 20 nukes. Oh boy. Okay, still a little bit more lag. Someone... Oh, is China popping out still? I just want to go to war with Canada. Oh, we're probably over our division limit, aren't we? All right, everyone. So I've gone ahead and off screen, I just did some of the focuses already. It's September 8th, 1936. So we need to read a message to traitors. Traitors who go against America and the great Biden's will? Shut up, man. They need no free speech. They need freedom. And the only thing they need is a quick death. And which recruited 368 more Bidenist divisions. But I deleted them already just because it's lagging so hard in the game that I had to delete them. We have redefined humanity. If you have trouble deciding to fight for me or fight for the past, you ain't human. <laughs> the only things we can classify as human in this godforsaken world are the beings that support the eternal chairman, Joe Biden. No gods, just Biden. The, you know the thing is nothing but a great lie told to us by the proletariat. To free ourselves from our chains, we have to destroy God, burn the churches, and defy the forces of religion. The idea of a God is nothing but malarkey, and also we had to save humanity. You think we can save the human race through traditional means? That's malarkey. To save humanity, bridges are going to have to be burned. Blood is going to be spilled, and people are going to have to die. You think we can just gradually change things? Come on, man. we got so much more stability, political power. Uh, we got another general, too. And for this one, uh, we got a lot more political power every single day. we got 10,000 more nukes. We just lost all of them or somehow. I think we hit the number calculator in the game, so we now have zero. And for this one, we got... Well, after this one, we have almost 2,000 factories. But apocalypse now. Listen here, Jack. Humanity is beyond saving. We've been forsaken by, you know, the thing. The only way it is, it's so swipe the slate clean, man. Pull the plug and pray that something rises from our ashes. So, invasion preparation time, divisions... Faster division speed, division organization plus 30%, more recruitable population factor by 25%, division attrition goes down, auto supply goes down, supply consumption goes down, look at all these. And look at the modifiers for the fires of the apocalypse. Pretty nuts, I'd say. Pretty darn nuts. Supply consumption for enemies goes up. 90% cons consumer goods factories as well. Wow. Division attack minus 10%, training time plus 66%. Every own state created Bidenist unit in Ohio. Why Ohio? Did, didn't in like 2020 he lost Ohio by like whatever. Just but but why Ohio? Why not like DC or Maryland or I guess Pennsylvania or New York? But whatever. And the Democratic Party becomes the ruling party. We get just casual 10,000 more nukes. So as you can see, the, the mods have been running so slowly. I've actually had to drop down to three or four speed compared to five speed, even though we're still in 1936. And we only have uh, 208 divisions. We had like <clears throat> 1,500. Uh, oh my god, it's lagging so hard. You can't even see it. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, there we go. Okay, Ooh. okay we, go to, we went to war. The American Preservation Colonization Committee declared war on Crete. That's a lot of nations. I love Joe Biden. Wow. Okay, so George H.W. Bush, kind of chill out for now. Uh, you guys go ahead and do this as well. Uh, I don't know really how far we're going to be able to get with this. So, And we have a casual another 300... Oh my gosh. Wait, this is it Ohio? This oh, don't tell me you think Ohio is the entire country. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I, I'd love to do this, but that just makes it like so much harder. <clears throat> the Japanese units here too. Oh my goodness. And Obama's fighting in Mexico. It's lagging so hard, it's stuttering. Donald Trump, no, not Donald Trump, no! Oh, wait, embrace? Wait, what does this say? Embrace totalism? Oh, Chairman Biden has taken an array of people from a vast number of different ideologies. As such, Biden has been influenced by every ideology under the sun. Which ideology will Biden listen to now? Of course, ideologies less hostile to the impure could take power in the absence of a Biden alpha's leadership, however. The presence of the... APCC Council of Bidens will ensure that Biden and Alpha will remain in control and that the Earth will be cleansed. Unfortunate. Obama. <laughs> oh no, he got sick. We can't do this one. Oh, we're national pipes already. 
contacting alternate Bidens. With Biden able to access a vast multiverse, he can draw support from different versions of himself from across a wide variety of timelines, of course, if the alternate Bidens accept his call. They refuse to wa work with us. We get Joe Biden as field marshals? Cool. Great cleansing, what does this do? Hold on. Oh, okay. Now that's that makes a lot more sense. Let's see cleansing and pure. Let's see if it actually works. And let's buy some more nukes. Um, also, if you look at this, we have Joe Biden. Agent Joe Biden working for us. He's totally not Dr. Phil, but Joe Biden, very nice. Very cool. Good job, Joe Biden. We love Joe Biden. Joe Biden, Joe Biden. 200 PP to get Joe Biden RMN 0044. Uh, oh, 25 days. Well, let's see what happens with Joe Biden. I want to see what happens with this Joe Biden, too. Radical centrism. So, we're only fighting the entire world now. Oh my gosh, look at how bad it's lagging. Holy crap, when you're fighting the entire world, we've killed Canada. Wow. Oh, that's why. Hello. <laughs> Did we nuke the entire world, or is it just them? It might have been just them. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, Joe Biden. Get a little nuky nuky. So does that actually work in enemies' capitals and such? I don't think it does. I mean, what did it say earlier? I don't know how we're supposed to get over the ocean, though. That's my main question. Or concern, really. Ooh, what was it? Oh, we're embracing cynicism now? Did I click on that? I might have clicked on that. It's alright, it doesn't matter. We're not going to see what this one does. Hopefully it nukes other places. Oh my goodness, how is... Yeah, I'll be honest, I love this. But how is anyone supposed to be able to play this? Like, oh my... Mm! Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Oh man, that's so nice. Is, did anywhere else get hit? Oh, it's so good. That is so good. I don't think so. I'm not seeing any explosions. How about Mexico? Did they get hit? Um. No wonder it likes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the atomic bombing, bombing of Crete. Why do we hate Crete so much? It's not like it's Malta. Oh my gosh. Already 3 million casualties so far. God, I love Joe Biden. Don't quote me on that one. Oh man, Joey, Joey, Joe. I can't wish we could nuke their ships. Okay, maybe I should stop nuking. It's li literally pixelating the screen right now. Holy cr crud. You can see all the pixels here, too. <laughs> Man, I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Just Oh, it's lagging. You can't tell, but this is lagging so hard it's about to crash. Holy cow. Wait, we... No, you get back in that faction, and I want to nuke you. Who's this? A socialist republic? There's some nations that have popped out that are not with us or against us. But whatever. Seriously, can we get like a navy or something? I think that's probably the main thing that Biden's America needs. As a bigger navy. Or a navy. Because this is everything we're building. is just storage that we're, what we've been trying to build the entire time. So... As much as I love destroyers... Uh... They're not very good on attacking, except for, like, convoys. So, we'll see how far we can get. Wow. Okay, maybe one more time. Okay, Donald Trump, you've done a great job taking out the Canadians. Barack Obama's done a great job taking out Mexicans. Um, I guess the only path forward is to go down south now, through here. Good luck, guys. And I've only left one division under Bill Clinton, because he likes touching them too much, as well as George Bush. Uh, I'm going to send him to the Middle East. Oh boy, look at that. I mean, it just lags so incredibly hard. Oh, don't tell me we don't have the research. Oh, we don't have the research done. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh-oh. Look how lag it is. There you go. Um, oh, keep doing that, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, man, we have more research to do. Oh, look at that. 
I like that Joe Biden switches his little national spirit around. Salvation of humanity. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is... No, this is still not cynical as Joe Biden, so... And as you can see, it's extremely laggy. Holy crud. We have one more research slot available. Nice. Seriously, I, I would love to know what, what's going on. Why is it so laggy? I mean, yeah, we got a lot of divisions, but still. Oh, you can see. Look at that. We can't even move. We can't even move. It's so bad. Oh, was I nuking them again? No? I don't see any nukes. Everything should be... Uh oh Um... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically all these people are working together, so that's why it's super laggy, but... Oh, we got some pe people kind of helping us out. That's not too bad. Um, I'd like to do that. I might just do a lot of this off-screen just to speed through this a little bit more, because, uh, this is a bit extreme. With the, the, this is probably one of the laggiest videos I've ever done. Oh my goodness, so, yeah. If there's another event, I'm sure I'll show you guys. So, yeah, why not? I'll be right back. Alright, my friends, the Amazonian Purge, with the armies of the APCC finally arriving on the shores of South America, we have come across our first real challenge in our conquest of this world. The Amazon, the great rainforest running along most of the South America, has formed a nigh unassailable barrier for our ground units. While their air units are indeed able to cross and strike at their nation south of it, without our ground units, they can do little but annoy our enemies. In an attempt to solve this, Chairman Biden, at the suggestion of Michael S. Reagan, head of Biden's EPA, has ordered that the Amazon be bombed. Using a combination of traditional bombs, napalm, and small-scale nuclear devices, the APCC is bringing the Amazon to its knees. While so far the destruction is mostly contained to the north, the fire is spawning to the devastation is spreading quickly, and the APCC scientists predict the Amazon shall be completely reduced to ash within the, the next few months. Only while just beginning, our troops are already able to take advantage of the cleared ground, gaining a massive boost in their speed over the Amazon. Besides the advantage our troops gain, the Amazonian purge serves as a perfect warning and example of what we plan to do with the rest of the world. It may also just be able to get some nations to stand down, lest they meet a worse fate. This was only merely at the beginning, with a casual almost 6 million dead enemies gone. But actually, Union Britain, United Baltic Duchy is a major power. Um, we might have to use consequence for this, we've already invaded Africa a little bit too. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens, but this is Joe Biden, when he is led by them, uh, I thought we had, uh, I thought we had a different portrait here for Joe Biden, because currently we are still totalists. Very cool. Alright everyone, so I got tired of the lag, because there's an ex such an extreme amount of lag, but I just decided to use Khan's commands and annex everybody in the world just to see what happened. A question of preservation. A preservation. With the majority in the Levant, home to the holiest place on earth for the majority of humanity's faithful, one will not find the typical destruction and cleansing that usually follows a conquest. As per a pre-invasion order, APCC forces have been highly careful in a conquest using making use of small-scale purification fields, which also doubles as tests for purification uh, buildings or fields that will mark the start of Phase 2 to avoid destruction of the land, buildings, and wildlife that dot the Holy Land. The reason for this, while seemingly a bit contradictory for the atheistic policies of Chairman Biden, was due Due to request by the Preservation Subcommittee of the APCC. The Preservation Subcommittee, which was formed mostly as a way to quiet those opposed to the wholesale destruction of everything on Earth, requested the Chairman allow them to preserve the Holy Land due to its destruction in our time, which should be grudgingly accepted to keep unity within the faction and the Council and the Party. With the Holy Land now both depopulated and fully under our control, the Preservation Subcommittee has put forward yet another rest of the Chairman. In short, the PS wishes to use an experimental technology that would effectively freeze the Holy Land, as it is now in time. However, the technologically would also adapt the Holy Land to any new environmental factors that come about as a result of the Earth's repopulation during Phase 2. Doing this, the subcommittee claims, will endear the chairman to America's surviving religious populace. While a request like this is not extreme and perhaps a no-brainer, however, it could also set a danger dangerous precedent. After all, if we agree to preserve the Holy Land, what would stop them from demanding we preserve other relics of this bygone era? Regardless, this choice is the chairman's alone to make. What is the harm of protecting what was lost? Denied, we have to come create a new home, not recycle the old. 65 days at Dalian. As the legions of the APCC come ever closer to complete world domination, we finally made significant ground within China, the heart of resistance in East Asia. While their efforts have been met with great success over the past 55 days, we've been sieging the Japanese hellport of Dalian. It, a city, itself, a major port and site of Ebush, 
Reinforcement has become the de facto HQ of the AP, B, ABPSH in Eastern Asia. This was so much the case that Emperor Hirohito of Japan, General Falkenhausen of the AOG, and seemingly resurrected Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek had made Dalian their home. As our own armies approached the city, we expected some kind of fight. After all, it was the largest APG center in Asia. However, we could not have expected the amount of fire we would meet. Upon using captured weapons, some which appeared to have been reverse engineered, the AP, ABPSH forces were able to keep up or keep us some 30 miles outside the city. While the aircraft was indeed able to punch into their airspace more often than not, they would get shot down. The stalemate, the first and more than likely last of its kind in our campaign, was unbreakable in all but one manner. Unlike our forces, the resistors lacked the ability to recharge their weaponry, thus meaning that we could starve them out, which is exactly what we did. Up until last night, both sides of the siege had done little more than exchange a little gunfire here and there. However, seemingly as they were running out of juice, the defenders of Dalian made one final desperate charge in a suicidal tope of breaking the stalemate. At the head of this charge was none other than Emperor Hirohito, followed closely behind the General Falkenhausen and the Generalissimo Chiang. The charge ended as quickly as it began, not even making it to our lines, though while the heroics of the charge cannot be denied. With the deaths of the Apuj's most major figures in the east, it will not be long until phase one is finally complete and we begin colonization in earnest. We are near, finally near the end, and for of the APCC forces east. With the APCC's conquest in the New World well underway, Chairman Biden's ordered one of his top lieutenants, Barack, Barack Obama, to Africa. To be exact, Kenya, where Obama's grandfather leads a Mau Mau uprising against the colony of Kenya, Uganda. Mzi Obama has a near divine status amongst the fighters of Mau Mau, thus by using Barack. Biden hopes he can use that status against Obama and turn the Mama into a basis for the APCC's eastern forces. However, with the rise of Biden, the Mama have changed from an anti-colonialist revolt into the face of anti-Bidenist activity within the Horn of Africa. With a sudden change in enemy, many former Kenyan colonial army officers have joined the Mama ranks, chief among them one Mad Jack Churchill, famed war hero and sword bearer. While this is a bit of a setback, it has not stopped Obama from carrying out Biden's plan. Under the cover of darkness, Obama and a small but highly trained team were teleported straight into the HQ of the Mau Mau, where he confronted his grandfather. What was said between the two is unknown, however, a large chunk of the original Mau Mau forces have indeed sided with Obama, seeing it as a fulfillment of prophecy. With this split in ranks, a small civil war within the Mau Mau region has begun. Obama is making use of the chaos. Already reports of drone strikes with a reported accuracy of 90% have taken place. Ooh, Obama 90%. Most impressive of those uh, killed by drone strike has been Herman Goring, with his death causing chaos within the Middle African administration. Overall, Obama's invasions have been highly successful, and this APCC has already dubbed the new forces the APCC Forces East. Another great success for the and Biden sacking of Europe. After months of fighting forces, the forces of the various nations of the Abuj, the APCC has finally come on top and will occupy a majority of other major nations of Europe. From London and Rome to Berlin and Paris, the legions of Chairman Biden now control one of the historic lands in human history. Despite this historicity, we cannot allow memories or feelings to get in the way of our important work. To this end, the APCC's purification subcommittee has ordered over the head of the chairman, it seems, the complete destruction of all major cities in Europe. Perhaps seeing the lands of his forefathers as awakening an amount of compassion for the non-humans within the chairman. A compassion that wasn't awoken even by the death of his own parents, the purification subcommittee's orders were already underway. Most major, major cities are now nothing but smoldering ruins, primed and ready for phase two. Special attention has been paid to Ireland, the chairman's ancestral home. Hoping to crush his compassion once and for all, the purification subcommittees ordered the entire island to be cleansed of all life, as a small-scale test for the purification wave that will soon unleash once the entire earth has been cleansed of major military resistance. Regardless of the subcommittee's orders, one of the largest areas of resistance has been cleared, and the APCC get closer to its final goal every day. We march for P Moscow next, and final good deed. What feels like an eternity of warfare, despite only arriving a short time ago, the armies of the American Preservation and Colon Colonization Committee have triumphed, and this version of America, or Earth, has really fallen under Biden's total control. With this Earth now tamed, the time has come to begin Phase 2 of the APCC's three-phase pl plan to save the American race. Phase 2, simply put, will completely transform this plant from a smoldering, radiation-soaked heck hole into an untapped virgin wilderness. Making use of the various time machines that are dotted across the globe, the APCC scientists have figured out a way to repopulate the Earth's wildlife using plants and animals from other timelines. However, in order to successfully do this, all life on Earth must be wiped out due to how sensitive the process is, due to the need to wipe out all of life. This process could have never been attempted in the present due to the massive risk factor. APCC scientists believe that this process should take no more than 200 years, which due to time travel will take no time at all. As an insurance policy on the off chance one of the machines breaks down or is importing the wrong kind of wildlife, the process is set to shut down for a month or two or two month period every 25 years to allow the APCC to keep tabs on the situation which could take no more than an afternoon really. Due to an unfortunate quirk in the terraforming process, one person is required to stay behind and activate it. With the first wave being a massive life destroying ray, the person who stays behind will be sacrificing a life.
While all manners of ways to pick the person who would stay behind were thought up, everything from drawing straws to casting lots, one man, former Vermont senator, turned close confidant to Joe Biden, Bernard Sanders, hell, Bernard Sanders, has offered to stay behind once a rival of Chairman Biden. Sanders' sacrifice shall mark him as a true American hero. Sanders is prepared for this day all his life. Now all he needs to do is press a button, and the American people can live again. Democracy is not a spectator sport. America will live again, and this will end. Oh boy, it's... Alright everyone, so if you do click on Democracy is Not a Spectator Sport, the game will crash to the point where, well, you just go back to your desktop or other application. So, we're pretty much done here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, It's been very interesting. I love what the devs have done with Biden's America, with Biden-like. I think it was a lot of fun, especially with, uh, you know, Admiral Biden. He's got a nice little hat down here. As well as, uh, I guess we have no air marshals, but that's totally okay. But regardless, let me know in the comments below how many Bidens and or other figures you found in this video. If you liked the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.